Hello everyone, in this video we will be looking at how we can sort the worksheets in a workbook according to their names. For example, I have a bunch of worksheets in this workbook. So each of these worksheets have different names and I want to sort all these worksheets uh, by basis of their worksheet name. So I need the AAK worksheet coming at the friend and so on. So how can I do this without wasting a lot of time by doing this manually? So here I can use the help of VB. For this we will need to do a very small coding so that the Excel will automatically sort all your worksheets according to the name. For this let's go to the developer tab. If you cannot find the developer tab in your Excel, it is because you haven't activated it yet. For that, let's go to any random uh, you know, tab and let's right click anywhere on the ribbon. When you right click, you should get an option called customize the ribbon. Let's click on customize the ribbon. While I clicked on that customize the ribbon option, uh, a menu like this opened up for me. So in this menu, when you look at the right side, there are a bunch of options here. And when you see the bottom of this list, there is an option called developer. So in your case, if the developer option is not checked, then you should check it because if you check it, the developer tab will appear on top of your Excel sheet. So let's click OK after clicking check mark on developer and let's click OK. Done. Now you will see a developer tab in your excel sheet. Let's go to developer tab and let's double click on visual basic. Instead of doing this you can also just press on alt plus f11 to open your visual basic. Alt plus f11. Let me click on alt plus f11 and this is visual basic for applications. Now in visual basic for application you will write your code in a VBA editor window. You will have many editor windows here on sheets or you can write in the workbook as well. But I would suggest you go to this white area which is called as a project explorer and right click and go to insert and click on module. Then a new module will be inserted for you. While you write on module, you will avoid the risk of deleting the code just because you randomly deleted some sheet without thinking that there exists some code behind the sheet. So when you write it on the module, that issue won't occur. So let's start writing our code in this area. Let's start by opening a sub procedure. So we'll write sub, then we'll write the name we want to give to our sub procedure. So here I'll write sort worksheets yes and i'll click enter so sort worksheets is the name i gave to my sub procedure and while i clicked enter excel itself gave me the parenthesis and the end sub so i'll write my code in between the sub and end sub so let us start writing the code by declaring something i'll declare dim i as integer so I, I have declared as integer. Now I would want one more integer here, which you'll understand why I have used when you go through the end of this code. So let's write dim j as integer. Let's click enter and that is done as well. Now let's declare a VB question, that is a VB message box result. That is uh, the VB, when you run this code, the uh, Visual Basic will ask the user whether you want to uh, you know, sort this alphabetically ascending or descending order. So if the user is clicking on yes, then the worksheets will be sorted in ascending order. And if the user is clicking on no, then the worksheet will be sorted in descending order. The user will also have an opportunity to cancel this code that is they don't want to sort it at all they can change their mind midway as well. So let's say dim i result as vb message box result. So vba is suggesting me vb message box result and I'll select that. I'll click enter, then I'll write i result is equal to message box inside bracket and put double quotes. I'll write sort 
sheets in ascending order i'll put a question mark and i'll put a uh, double quotes ending and i'll put character 10 so character 10 or c h r 10 means a line break so after the sentence sort sheets in ascending order there will be a next line which tells the following so let's put next uh, and and start double quotes and inside this i'll write clicking no will sort the sheets in descending order now the things which i wrote here are very customizable that is if you want to write something else you can totally write here now i'll put across the uh, message in double quotes and i'll put a comma now you can st uh, continue writing in this line only or if you want to go to the next line to write the code you can put an underscore here and click enter now the invalid character i got because yeah i need to put a space before the underscore and then click on enter now i'll show you again what i just did there after putting a comma instead of writing here i put a space here and then i put an underscore here and then i clicked enter now here i can continue the message box code line so i'll write here vb yes no cancel so vbs no cancel is a set of buttons so there will be three buttons yes button no button and cancel button so i'll put that and i'll put plus vb question so vb question we can select from here or you can type in vb question is a question mark symbol that will be present near the box i'll show you when this works and let's put a default button as well for that i can write vb default default button one i'll select this from the suggestion and then the button set is over next let's put the title for this for that i can start double quotes and then write the title which i want to give so i'll write here sort worksheets you can write any title you want according to your project needs let me close the bracket and let me press enter now let us start our for loop so i'll write for i is equal to remember we just declared i in the beginning as an integer i is equal to one to sheets dot count so i is the number of sheets here that is one to how many sheets are there count and press enter let's also do the same for j as well so we are dic we are starting a for loop inside the for loop so instead of i we will write here j so for i is equal to 1 to sheets count inside that for loop we will again go for j is equal to 1 to sheets count minus 1 so if there are total of eight sheet counts in eight sheets in this particular workbook i is one to eight and j is one to seven now let's start an if condition here that is if vb result we, we should start in the next line yes if vb result is equal to vb yes then so remember we just gave a message box which has three buttons that is vb yes no and cancel there were three buttons yes button no button and cancel button so here the condition is that if the user clicked on vb yes that is if the user click on the yes button then what would happen so then if you case if you case put a dollar symbol and let's write sheets j j is the second for loop which we had dot name greater than u case dollar inside bracket sheets j plus one let's close bracket dot name then 
So here the condition is that we are converting everything into uppercase in the beginning because we don't want the case sensitive ascending order, right? So we'll convert everything into uh, uppercase here. It won't be evidently seen to the user, but inside the code, we are trying to convert everything into uppercase, that is capital letters, so that it won't consider, uh, you know, case difference here. Now, if she's J, so for example, if first sheet's name is greater than the second sheet, that is one plus one, second sheet's name, then let's see what the issue is here. I think I didn't close some bracket here, right? Yeah, after name, I should close the bracket here. So let's close the bracket here as well. Yeah. So then I'll click enter. Then I want sheets j so sheets j is the bigger one here right so uh, if sheets j is greater than sheets j plus one that's the condition if that condition is true then sheets j dot move i want this sheet to be moved after colon and equal to sheets j plus one and let's close the bracket so if first sheet name is greater than in this text sense greater than means if uh, the letter comes after the first letter that is if sheet one is bat and sheet j plus one is apple bat is greater than apple right because b is greater than a so the greatest uh, sheet name will be pushed after the smaller one so it will be pushed to the end of the row so here let's click enter and let's close the if clause by saying end of so let's say else if i result is equal to vb no so this was the all condition for uh let's say vb result is equal to yes so if what if the user clicks on no instead of yes let's say vb no then what should happen then we'll check again whether uh j sheet is sheet j is greater than sheet j plus one so let's copy this same line here and paste it here now here we have a situation that if sheet j name is greater than sheet j plus one right yeah but uh in the beginning as we told if the user click on yes it will be sorted in ascending order but if the user clicks on no it will be sorted on descending order so instead of greater than we actually want the smaller names to be pushed to the end so if j name is lesser than j plus one let it be pushed to the end right so if uh, j name or the first name is lesser than or smaller than the second name we'll push it after the j plus one name so we just copied this line to here again let's click enter and let's close the if statement here we have closed that particular if statement and now we can go ahead and close the for loops as well we had two for loops so one is next i and we'll also close the first one we have to close is next j because the second one was j right so we'll go with a next i so we close next j and we close next i let's click enter here and let's close the sub as well i think we already have the sub here so we'll just delete all the space here now let's try running this code and before running the code let me show you how my uh, worksheet looks like now this is very you know unsorted and every letters are there so let's go and run this code here, click on run and as you can see there is a message box here. So sort sheets in ascending order and next line it is showing clicking no will sort in descending order. And this is the VB question mark. So this picture here or the icon here is a VB question mark. If I click on yes it will be sorted in ascending order. If I click no it will be sorted in descending order. And if I click cancel it won't be sorted at all. So let's click yes here and let's go back to the worksheet and as you can see it is sorted according to ascending order. Now let's again go back to the worksheet and run this again and click on no now. I'll click on no and as you can see, let's go back to worksheet and as you can see, it is sorted now in descending order. This is how you can sort your worksheet in ascending order and descending order using VBA.